Hey, Oscar Nation, how we doing? Uh, today we're going to talk about some issues that the that are coming out early in this fall camp. They're being identified, and and that is that we're having issues on special teams. Special teams right now is the question mark, I think, above everything else in fall camp. Even a bigger question mark than that left tackle position, which is very important, by the way. But I think special teams is the most important and the biggest question mark we have right now. Um, and it's not just the kicker position, which we've talked about and covered in a previous video. There's a lot of concerns right now going on at the punter position with Brian Buscini. We're going to talk about that real quick here today. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe. It helps me grow the channel and helps me continue to bring you great content. Okay, so we talked in the previous article, obviously, about some concerns with the kicking position, with the Tristan Alvano injury and news, and the two freshmen kickers that we have on the roster who could step up to replace them and and how they may do right the good news on that front real quick before we dive into the punting stuff is that uh, you know the reports coming out of the open practice uh that people watched on saturday big red preview was that both those freshman kickers nico nico probably sorry for butchering that and john hall um, we're both nailing 40 plus yard field goals. No problem. Of course, in game situations, pressure is different, but they don't look far off from what I heard. So even if Alvano does come back from his injury, a healthy competition there is needed to determine who's going to be the starter. But it sounds like we have three legitimate options at that position. And I trust that they'll pick whoever could put us in the best position possible to do that. You know, field goals can decide games, especially in the big 10, that's going to be critical. We have to find someone who's going to be consistent. That's absolutely critical. Now, the punting situation was something that that's something that's been kind of a question mark since last year. You kind of hope for a rebound with Brian Buscini, but according to the the big people that attended the Big Red preview, uh, that open practice on Saturday, he shanked a couple punts, looked inconsistent, which is more of the same of what we saw frankly, in 2023 last year. So if you remember, Buscini, transfer punter uh, from Montana, FCS punter of the year, came to us in 2022. And that 2022 season affectionately started being called Boom Chini, right? Boom Chini, that leg he had, powerful kicking. And uh, that's important. In the Big Ten, and games are decided by seven points and three points. You've got to flip field position. And so he was a he was a big part of that. He's a a good addition to the team. In 2022, he averaged 44 yards a punt, multiple punts over 50, and including a 65 yard bomb that he had that year. I think it was versus Georgia Southern. So Boom Chini's nickname he had, and but then for whatever reason, enter 2023, last season, he's just inconsistent. Right, I mean, he took a step back instead of averaging forty yards a punt. Started averaging, or instead of averaging forty-four yards a punt, which he did in two thousand twenty-two, he averaged forty yards a punt. Guys, that's it. And uh, now he had moments where he flipped field position pretty good. He had some fifty-yard plus bombs, but he had a lot of shanked punts. He's very inconsistent, hit and miss, and again, only averaging forty yards a punt. Uh, is <laughs> can make or break and cost you a game, especially in the Big Ten. So, again, in a year where the whole mantra is chasing three, chasing three extra points to try to win and get over the hump for Nebraska, if you can't kick field goals and you can't flip field position, it's a problem. So that is why I think right now, even above the left tackle, question marks, this is the biggest storyline of fall camp. They got to get it figured out. Ed Foley, the special teams coach, he's got to be feeling the pressure. I mean, Rule trusts his guys, and he. He believes in his guys, so we gotta we gotta do the same as the fans right now until he shows us otherwise and just say, Hey, Ed Foley's gotta get this done. He's gotta find someone at kicker who can be consistent and he's gotta fix the punt situation. And if it's if he can't get Brian Buscini out of his, his rut, then do we turn to freshman punter Camden Koch? Cam Koch, freshman punter. Um he was considered one of the best punters in his his recruiting class. So do we turn? Do we turn to him? I don't know, <laughs> right? I don't know if he's ready. So we got to do something. And if it's playing freshman, a kicker, and punter this year to give us that chance, we have to. You can't turn a blind eye to special teams. Special teams will cost you games. It will cost you games. And when we haven't made a bowl game in almost a decade, 
You can't afford to have question marks going into year two of this regime at kicker and punter. You just can't. So they got to figure that out. I'm going to keep a very close eye on that throughout fall camp. And they could have that very well solved in the next week or two. You know, they could have that all figured out. New Playing a new freshman or they say, hey, Alvano's healed up and he's nailing them consistently. I don't know. Bushini, you know, got to figure it out. We got to trust. They got to get it figured out. Uh, but we're going to find out week one versus UTEP, August 31st, coming fast. And we're going to find out, do they get it figured out? Or is it's going to become readily apparent if that's going to be an issue. And if that's an issue, guys, if if August 31st we're playing UTEP and we're missing field goals and Neuroshenko punts, the confidence in this year and what we can achieve goes way down, and, and it's concerning. So hopefully that's not the case. Uh, I trust in Rule, you know, and he trusts in Ed Foley. So we just hope they get this turned around. And as we hear things, we'll keep you updated. And uh, again, if you haven't done so, like and subscribe to the video. You can find me, guys, at my website, redwhitecornsports.com. Or you can find my videos and my articles at the Character Chronicles. I'm part of the Character Chronicle crew. So Adam Carriker's website, you can find me there as well. My articles and videos there as well. Okay. So bookmark, bookmark my website, bookmark his, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.